Good morning, y'all. Welcome back to another video, another vlog. I am gonna be vlogging this week and showing you what I'm eating, how I'm training. That's basically a normal vlog for me, but more so a focus on my nutrition and just what I've been currently loving for my workout routine. And yeah, I'm starting up my breakfast now. I've been editing here all morning. I've already had a cup of coffee and instead of doing another cup of coffee, I'm doing warm cups of water. Very grandma of me. The only bread we had at home was this rye bread, so don't come for me. It's actually not, it's not that burnt. I think my dad is the only person who willingly buys rye bread, but I'm not complaining. We're doing peanut butter jelly. y'all it feels like it's been a while since i've done a voiceover for a gym workout so hello we're back and i decided that today would be a perfect day to hit back so we are doing a pull day which consisted of back and biceps i am starting with some pull-ups i did about two sets assisted with my long resistance band before suddenly Yeah, she snapped. Mm -hmm. Not sure how, I think I might have came down a little too hard on the band, but also I've had this band since probably the beginning of my fitness journey. Either senior year of high school or freshman year of college, that black band has been with me through it all and I'm actually surprised that I still have it and that it's lasted so long. It was a little bit of a moment when it broke. But yeah, I was forced to do my pull-ups unassisted, which is always a bit of a struggle for me. Now I'm warmed up and I decided to do some conventional deadlifts today. For as many years as I've been lifting, conventional deadlifts will always be a bit of an awkward move for me. The coming up part I feel like is fine, but the coming down and putting in the weight, I don't know, something looks a little off. If you guys have any form tips for me, like please, I could probably use some help. I want to be able to perform these well and build on this because it's such a staple in the gym. It's just one of those compound moves, you know? Did work my way up to about 185, did five reps for about four sets or so. Then I moved over to the landmine to do this fun little move that I was trying out today. This is a single leg RDL with a bent over row. I love a sort of combination move like this that just really activates all parts of the body. It's definitely testing my balance as well, which I love. So I did four sets, 10 reps per side. Moving on, I'm doing some lat pull downs, but with a neutral grip. So I'm using this attachment instead of the standard lat pull down bar, like the one next to me. Also this spot for filming is just not ideal because it's literally in a walkway and people walk past the camera which is totally fine you guys can see what i'm doing here i did four sets eight to ten reps and i tried to go heavier with each set and this workout was pretty short so i'm just wrapping up with some biceps i'm doing 21s with this easy curl bar so basically it's a seven 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 rep sequence seven reps going from the bottom to the middle seven from the middle to the top and then seven full range reps this is an absolute burner it demolishes my biceps definitely would recommend trying it out i did four sets of that and that was my pull day. Y'all, I just had an amazing back workout. Or, I mean, I thought it was amazing. I thought it went pretty well. Literally four exercises. But that's all I needed to get a good pump. Mm. I had to cover up though because I had to stop by the post office and pick up this package because I missed the UPS man this past Saturday. As soon as I left the house, I started driving away and then I saw the UPS man behind me, tried to deliver the package, wasn't able to because no one was home. And then I tried to chase down the UPS truck, but then I lost him and yeah. It's happened to me a couple times. Managed to get to the truck and I successfully retrieved my package, but this time around they just dropped it off at an access point. No biggie. I was able to pick it up, so we're good. But anyway, I have to get home. I need to do a quick body shower and then get ready or kind of ready for dinner because I'm meeting up with my teammates. We're doing, where is my phone? Oh, it's right here. We're doing a team dinner and I'm so excited because we're going to the hottest club in San Francisco. Happy 
Tuesday. I just got suited up because I'm gonna do a workout in the backyard. It's just too nice of a day to not be outside. We're gonna hit some legs with my dumbbells. My back is so sore from yesterday's session, which we love that, but I need to give my upper body a bit of a rest. It really has been feeling like summer in the city. My mood has just been through the roof. This is my setup. I've got a set of weights, which these are 30 pounds. I might have to grab my 25s from upstairs, but we've got those, some resistance bands, and then my towel. Mic check. One, two, three. This lighting is actually horrendous because it's so bright. Okay. Oh, let's just get this thing going. Let's just start off with some inchworms. Upward dogs. Yeah. All right, let's get a band on. Oh, grass is hot. Okay, banded lateral shuffles, lateral walks. Oh my God. Okay, maybe I need to put my shoes on. Crazy thing is that the weather is probably 68, 69 degrees. It literally feels like 80 plus right now. It's just pure sun, no wind. We got the ice cold pre-workout here. Give me energy. I haven't thought my workout out yet, so. I'm gonna scheme something up real quick. All right, I wrote up two circuits. This first one has three exercises. So I'm just gonna go back to back to back, rest, repeat the circuit, front rack, squat. Okay. Two, six, nine, 10. And I made it so that I have a break from the weights. I wanted to throw in some body weight plyometrics. So. Essentially, I'm just jumping laterally from side to side. I'm doing a little pogo jump, landing on one foot, jumping right back up on the same foot, trying to be springy with it. The strapless bikini might not have been the smartest thing, but whatever. It's too late now. We're in too deep. Now, time for some dumbbell. Well, obviously dumbbell. RDLs. Six. Seven. Okay. So that's, that's one round. We got three more to go. Using my other dumbbell as a little prop up for my heels, holding the other one by my chest for slow heel elevated consorts. Three more, three more, one more. Ow. Why did I put reverse lunges in here? Okay, just a little tap in the knee, boop. I'm gonna do eight per leg. So I'm counting to 16 total. Ah, and now I think I really hate myself for doing this one because prisoner squats. Just kidding, I'm doing this to myself because I love myself. I love myself enough to push myself, to better myself. Starting in this kneeling position, I'm going to step up one foot at a time, step back down. Switch the leg that leads. We're doing 10 total, so five per side. Ah, uh, ah, uh, okay, I don't like this. My rests in between sets are literally just laying here. And it's so nice. Take as long of a rest as you need. If y'all aren't eating your watermelon with tahine, what are you doing? We eaten. This is the green onion pancake. Is this from Trader Joe's? Yeah. Oh. Okay, I bought it from a, like a Chinese uh, pastica place. That thing is so doughy, but this is much better. We tried last night and then my father said Trader Joe's better. Mmm. Wait. It's really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, it's so cute. Mmm, tofu. Did you see this on TikTok? Yeah. And then you can dip it in here. I'm not on cooking TikTok, I guess. Did you make it before? Or like, have you no, tried it? No, it's my first. Oh. Here we go. Mmm. It's good though. Because I saw they put the rice in there, but instead of that, I put tofu. Mm. Very nice. It's really good. And this too. I got changed because I practice at 5.30. Feeling up, eat some food for that. I don't want to be too hungry, you know? Good Momo, I've got my lineup of drinks. Coffee, chocolate greens. I've got 
that literally tastes like chocolate milk. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. I've been working all morning, but I'm going to go for a run slash workout with my boyfriend. With the boyfriend. Thinking I want to do a slick back moment. It's also a hair wash day So I'm gonna try and put this hair mask in my hair so that it marinates while I'm working out and then tonight when I take a shower It'll just Yeah, it'll be super moisturized. Um, I don't know how I should do this. Oh, it smells so good This is from the brand day. I don't know what it is. I'm so bad at hair i'm so bad at doing the slick back i've never been able to do like high middle part slick back look i don't know i'm just something's wrong with me it's frustrating because i really wish i could do it but right, should i just go oh no we're just gonna brush that all through Hello friends, I haven't checked in in a while, but as you can see, I am sweating like there's no tomorrow. It's much later in the day. I bust downtown and I met this guy. <sighs> met him up after work. Oh, um. That looks fit size so good. I think, I think maybe in that bucket. He's about to hit a chest workout here. We are at Luxfit. The reason why I'm so sweaty is because we freaking went on a run first and we ran from here to Chase Center, which is where the Warriors play. We ran about 4.25. 4.25 round trip. Really nice run, flat. You know, 4.25 is it's not a crazy distance or anything, but I think it's particularly hot today. Like probably one of the hottest days in the city we've had all year, which is still only probably mid 70s high 70s how many degrees do you think it is right now probably like 82 mm, 82 okay that's actually kind of warm that's pretty warm so yeah the heat definitely got to me <laughs> and i was struggling during that run not gonna lie but we are here now we're gonna get a lift in i'm just chilling for now i need to cool off rehydrate and then i'll get into it all right thanks for sending it up for me here Welcome. hit it oh how do you even sit it's a little hot oh okay even kind of tall for me. Look, look at me. Look. Oh, Kevin Hart. You think I can? You guys have the same initials too. <laughs> Get it up. Are you even trying? I am. I don't want to rip anything. I don't know if I can do it. Go. Try. Oh, shoot. Damn. Yeah, buddy. So my boyfriend hit chest and I was not really in the mood for that today. I just wanted to do something functional and fun, minimal equipment. So this is the workout that I did. Circuit style workout, five exercises. First, I did 10 kettlebell upright rows. I'm holding the kettlebell with both hands, bringing it from my belly button up to my chest. Then I did B-stance RDLs with a bit of a rotation. One foot is in the front, the other is just acting as a kickstand. I'm hinging at the hips as I would a normal RDL, but then I'm twisting my body towards Towards that leg that's in front it just gives a little bit of an extra stretch in the hamstrings and glutes which feels amazing do these nice and slow 10 reps per side then to throw in something a little bit more fast pace get the cardio going kettlebell swings 15 reps Next we have bent over rows. I'm just using my thigh as a little armrest 10 rows on one side switch 10 rows on the other side And then the last exercise, some push-ups. Good old push-ups, you cannot neglect these. One of my favorite body weight moves. Those last reps definitely get tough, but yeah, that's it. Five exercises. I would say aim for four to five rounds of this. This was a solid kettlebell workout and it felt amazing under the sun. A little post-workout meal. We got udon, murigame. I'm so excited. Mm. Bon appetit. My dude. Mm. Okay. Inhale some of the flakes. Mm. Let's redo that. Mm. So simple. Mm. 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 
wood is so good. Hello, good morning. So future, Chris, or I guess editing Chris is popping in because I realized I forgot to vlog a couple days of that week. And then suddenly I started vlogging on the weekend without an introduction or without like a explanation of where I was or what I was doing or who I was with. But yeah, basically I went on a little girls trip to wine country. So Napa, well not Napa, it was more so like Sonoma from the Bay Area then you know, but if you're not, then maybe it doesn't make a difference. Basically, wineries, cute restaurants, small town city vibes. My friend Tria had a bunch of us girls there for her birthday, so that was a lot of fun. And I wanted to include it in this vlog just because you guys know me, I'm a huge advocate on health, wellness, staying active, getting your body moving, but also just having balance, eating good meals at home, but also enjoying meals out. Life is just too short to be restrictive of what you eat and what you drink and whatever. I like to keep things well-rounded and a lot of times on the weekends, that's where we, we splurge a little. But yes, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the vlog. We had- 